up shooters yeah we back it's t books and ammo i am t book himself t book senior uh, of course I always give a shout out to to junior book i'm sorry junior book who's uh as he likes to call it on a secret mission of course he's armed forces army uh y'all keep him in your thoughts and prayers uh but yeah so we back i know it's been a minute man but bear with me uh, I still see comments on some of the other reviews that we've done, some of the older stuff. Junior Book keeps telling me, Daddy, we got tools that you need to do reviews on. You're doing all this shoot competitions I've been into. Uh, hopefully you follow on Instagram and you see some of that stuff. Uh, but out on this con on this channel, uh, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, leave your comments, man. We love to see what everybody's saying, how y'all feel about what we're doing. Uh, just the interaction in itself, man. 2 a all day every day all day every way uh but yeah we back so another review uh actually i had actually i've had this one for a while uh and just as we're sitting in the sitting in the safe uh but we're going to do a review on it because i plan on running it the next couple of days so i'm gonna show you what i got uh and i'm already gonna and i'm gonna do the upgrades to it so you're gonna see it you're gonna see some of the upgrades that's coming to it uh I'm gonna show you, and then at the end of it, you're gonna see how I have everything put together. I ain't gonna get to show you how I run it this, on this video, but you will see it in action. But today's review is gonna be on the Arsenal. Yeah. The Sam 7K pistol. Yeah, we like AKs too. Bulgarian. This is something I'm gonna need for later. Let me go ahead and open it up. As you can see, the box is all dirty, man. The box is sitting around. But of course, Sam 7K. It's the Sam 7K 34. It ain't the 44. I think the 44 got a different flash hider on it, a uh, different connector in the back, but the 34 is just a size. But it comes with, like I already had the book out, comes with the manual. It's the same manual that comes with the 34 and the 44. Uh, just a pistol manual. Of course, it has no brace on it or stock. So it is a pistol, but we're gonna change that. It comes with the brain, uh, with the book. Inside, it's really simple, man. They don't really uh, give you much. They give you a oil bottle that's empty. I don't know what the point of that is. Uh, give you a cleaning rod, cleaning rod right here. Uh, you know, I'm really not sure what this is. Let me get into it real quick. Oh, it's the brushes for the cleaning rod. Okay, just a little kick. Okay, all right. I can dig it. Pistol itself. Just a protector for the charging handle. Of course, it is clear. Clear out the box. And it's smooth. Safety. Of course, actually has the safety, ambidextrous safety on it. It was one of the big upgrades for this. Uh, so this is a meal receiver. So of course I told you in one of the other videos, I like the meal versus the stamp, but you do you, I'm gonna do me. This is a meal, so it's one piece metal. It has the bulge trunchion. So they actually cut that out to reduce some weight on that. Uh, you got your standard sights on it. You got the paddle mag release, of course, typical AK. Has the AK, it's for optic mount, of course. Uh, but I'm not gonna go in that direction. You're gonna see some of the upgrades that I do. Nice hand guard. I want to change out this hand guard. The 44 comes with a light uh, integrated in the bottom rail. Uh, so I want to see if I can swap that out. So I really like that. It's a, a eight ounce, a eight pound pistol all together, 17 and a half inches from front to back. Uh, front to back. I'm sorry, front to back. Uh, the burrow length is uh, eight and a half inches. Uh, yeah, it has a hinge dust cover on it, which I like, so it doesn't come off. Uh, which, like I said, this is big because one of the upgrades I'm gonna do, it comes in handy. Uh, you know, of course, there's the breakdown of it. Throw your bolt, spring, bolt. I ain't gonna feel strip it, ain't no point in going through all that. You know how it operates, it's simple. If you, if you're an AK guy, you already know how that works. Twist rate is one and nine on it, uh, which is which is pretty solid. It's a good solid grip. This is the only downfall, man. Just this mag, it's five rounder. And so I do have more, of course, already. 
Just waiting to upgrade some things. Yeah. Typical AK sights. It has the lever to where you can actually, hopefully you can see that action. Change the aperture on it. It's a little stiff, but change the aperture on it. Typical AK sights, you can adjust that for your uh, windage and elevation. Uh, a little like just for your elevation on the front. Uh, and adjustment on your windage, like it needs to be adjusted quite a bit. Uh, but I ain't gonna worry about that because y'all know I love my red dots. So a red dot is coming to this. Uh, but that's the pistol, man. Smooth action. I'm gonna show you some of the upgrades that we're gonna do. I have a CNC machine. So I already got some of the upgrades for it, man. Oh, the brace. It's just the bolt. Not major. There we go. All right. So the bolt. Of course, it is a foldable. There we go. It'll be foldable. So I do have a brace that I'm going to put on it. Pick a tinny rail mount. This, of course, like I said, I like my red dots. I really didn't want to go with the with the uh, traditional over all that big, ugly, bulky shit that they put on it. So I got a pick Picatinny man. So this is a crank style. And this is gonna bolt on right there. I gotta do a little fabricating on it, which I don't mind at all. I got everything I need for it for the fab work. Uh, it comes with everything. This is a, a Stormworks mount. I got a Stormworks mount, CNC Warrior brace. So as I'm getting set up, I went ahead and removed uh, bolt out of it. Oh, no, it's my AK. See my AK sitting back there? It's my fully gold, my first gold with AK. I took out the bolt, spring, took that stuff out. Royal King bench mount, it was like $20. I can move it back and forth if I want. So I'm just giving you a close up what I gotta do to mount the brace. It has this bolt that has to come through where the, uh, has a hole in the back of the, uh, the frame. And then that bolt comes through and you just, uh, really pretty simple, man. You just gotta make sure it's locked in good. And there will be a bolt on the inside and just bolt it up. Yeah, I got that on. This was uh, definitely handy, 11 millimeter. Put that bolt on the inside. Good old Loctite, of course. All right, now for the fun part, the tedious part. So I gotta get this lined up, you know, put that on. Yeah, right here, you see I have my C-clamp. Uh, I'm clamping the rail into place and marking where I wanna drill out my holes. Uh, so, yep. I, right there, I got all my holes marked. Then I'm using a punch. I'm gonna punch uh, to get started before I start drilling. That way I have a good indentation so it's not, uh, the drill bit's not walking all over the place, it's scratching the top of it up. So yeah, just using a punch to get my holes marked good and get started drilling. As you see right here, this is where I get the drilling started. Uh, drilling the three holes all the way through. So I need it. All right, so hopefully I got most of that process. Uh, had to use a little lube to help me out on that. Uh, of course, I covered everything up so I didn't get no metal shavings inside my frame. Uh, I think I'm good. So now it's time to test fit everything again. And these actually are going to thread in from the bottom. So... As long as my holes are big enough, I got faith in myself that they align. Cause we'll see. But mainly is if they're big enough for the bolts. They got uh, Allen heads. Actually came with six. I'm trying to see, uh, they're all the same size. And I do need to go a little bit bigger. So let me, that is 
964. So just make make sure that's gonna fit in her. It is. So like I said, we committed now, so Alright, get my bolt back in. Spring in. Good. I was gonna go with the SR, SRO on it, but I keep hearing about how they're not uh, as durable. So, you know, see that frame got a little bit of gap in the back, which is the way it's made. You can't get that out. And, yeah, it looks like it's supposed to be on there. mounts only sling point that it got on it since I covered up the rear hole with the brace so now I got that QD mount so it's gonna leave do for this weekend run it done a little bit with the green dot green sling gotta give me some uh some goon tape I was a paracord to put on that Fellas and ladies and gentlemen and cats and dogs, shooters, watchers, whatever you do in this 2A community, continue to do it. If it's just watching videos, even if you just hate, just keep it up because we need it all. It makes us push even harder. So if you hate, keep hating. If you love, keep loving. Comment, share, like. Uh, what you think? Yeah, I'm ready to run it. Run your guns, not your mouth. Get in where you fit in, even when you don't fit in. All right? Peace.